This is First Infinitum on September 5th, 2015 in New York, New York. My latest video is going to be dealing with BRICS, SCO, and EEU. Now you wonder what, what, what is that all about, so let's get to the details. BRICS is an anagram of Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. SEO is Shanghai Cooperation Organization, while EEU is Eurasian Economic Union. Barely mentioned in mainstream media, barely discussed about in various social circles, but But those are words of great significance, especially in the immediate future. BRICS originally started off as RIC, R-I-C, which stands for Russia, India, China, which has grew to include Brazil and South Africa. Now, my critics claim that it's only a political ploy, little nothing more than an anagram, but what's kind of unusual is that they've actually came together and provided at least ten billion dollars each and contributed to form new the new development bank and what's even more interesting is how this bank will work you can conduct any form of tr international trade you could uh, uh, establish uh, a business in in a foreign country, and you can even promote tourism because there'll be currency swaps and the exclusion of the U.S. dollar as a global reserve currency. And what what's more is that BRICS as well as uh, the EEU have decided not to use a single currency like the euro. They decided to swap currencies and values and to use their own currencies to purchase goods in both countries. Which means that each individual member will maintain their sovereignty. Furthermore, Brexit will be a lot more than just a trade agreement. It's also going to be developing thousands of kilometers of roads, railways, monorails, maglev trains, deep sea ports, airports, and the list goes on and on. So, major projects are taken away, which will involve tens of thousands of new jobs just the construction of, of uh, the, the, these projects. And then, once they're done, the speed of commerce would, would, uh, would definitely uh, would speed it up to a point to where so much money could be saved and earned. And yet, that's what the aim is. Getting rich by boosting the ability of your infrastructure, your electricity, your energy, um, schools, education is an enormous factor in BRICS. Many many people, even in Africa, are being educated in Russia. So, what does I tell you? I mean, th this is something huge going on. Much more, there's other kind of symbol, political symbolic gestures that really caught my attention. And the one, the most uh, noticeable one is how Moscow posted foreign troops to march in Red Square during the 70th annual victory parade in Red Square in Moscow. I, I know China was there. I know India was there. BRICS countries. Mm. 
However, let's see some more than that. There's more than meets the eye. And that they have also conducted joint military drills. That doesn't happen too often. Not in the past, anyway. Joint military drills. So, what we're looking at here is uh, something that there's much more than meets the eye. And I have up, I have shared and uploaded videos, the shared videos. I'll say three dozen or so. And I intend to upload more and to show how serious this matter is. And also, uh, I, before I forget, China's new Silk Road and the Russian Ned Nelty, which is New Eurasian Land Transport Initiative. And both projects are designed to rapid uh, to vastly expand the roadways the railways and maglev trains uh monorails and connect cities together and major industrial centers so there's much more than more it meets the eye and what's going on today with the refugee crisis and past mistakes of NATO and the Western Alliance. I mean, there were terrible mistakes. And the end result was much worse than we ever anticipated. So I'm sure these countries who are members of these organizations like SCO, BRICS, EEU, they don't want to they don't want to be a victim again. They don't want to be a victim at all. And they want a new alternative to the old system, which failed them. So, everything happens for a reason. So, just to let everybody know that I've shared three or four dozen videos pertaining to this very topic I'm discussing in this video, and I hope you view all of them because I believe deep down in my heart that uh, this new development that's taken place in Asia will have a lasting impact of what will ha what will occur in Western civilization and one specific outcome I believe could happen is the demise of the credibility and an acceptability of the US dollar as a global reserve currency and when that happens then we could experience hyperinflation. And I just don't want to go down the line of how bad this, this situation could really be, but it could be an, an, an economic implosion and that it could be a lasting economic crash. It could even be a collapse. So that's what I'm really worried about. And while the West is experiencing such turmoil Shanghai Cooperation Organization Eurasian Economic Union and BRICS countries will do everything in their power to avoid the mistakes that we made so that if they're smart enough they would actually do that so um, but I just hope that everyone gets the chance to view these videos. Uh, if you wish to comment on them, that's that's great. But check these videos out. I learned a lot from them. I didn't know how unaware I was until I saw these videos. So thanks everybody for watching, and um, I wish everybody the best. And I want also want to thank everybody who wished me a happy birthday on September fourth. 2015 this past Friday and I wish everyone a very happy Labor Day weekend. Thank you.